Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin has dropped below this trend line yesterday on the daily chart. Um, this is the green trend line I shared with you, I think already on Friday or Saturday. And on the daily chart, I think it's, it's important to understand that should we get further confirmation that a top has formed on the 30 minute chart, on the one hour chart, then I will first of all watch this support region for white wave B, for our B wave pullback in the larger third wave in our white scenario. This support area is defined between 55,480 and 60,837. So it's quite a relevant support region on the daily, which will become relevant should we break below micro support on the one hour time frame. This is um, the first support area that will be tested once we can identify a more substantial top here. Okay. At the moment, it's technically still possible to extend this move up in wave B or A, but it would require to hold 61,800 for that. And it requires only a, uh, or it, it should only form a three wave move down. We only have three waves down from yesterday's high. We can see that in more detail on the one hour chart. But um, the, the, the problem is that it could form five waves. So we're, talking, we're going to talk about that on the, let's say on the micro level. And important is just to understand these key levels. So it could be an opportunity if the price really dips in three waves and forms a three wave pullback into that support region. So it's definitely something to watch. And we could then watch for a so-called A, B, C structure in wave B, which would form, yeah, let's say this, this kind of B wave correction, right? B waves are either three wave movements or they also can be five wave movements, but then it would be a triangle. I don't see the potential really for a triangle here. I mean, it can always happen, but it's just not enough data for it. So it would be likely some kind of a flat correction in three waves or a so-called zigzag pattern. What exactly these patterns are, we have an educational section on our Discord server. You can check that out if you're interested in, in learning more about Elliott Wave. It's included in our silver and gold membership. But overall, to just say it you know, in, in very simple terms, it's a three wave move. Yeah, both of these patterns are three wave movements. They are slightly different, but overall it means we have an initial move down we have a corrective rally. So if after the initial move down, the rally is only corrective, doesn't form another high, that would be a good indication that we're heading down once more, especially if the initial move down is in five waves. And that is exactly what we're observing at the moment on the one hour chart to get an understanding if the market forms five waves down or three. Um, so should we then dip into this area? This is an area where you know, it might be worth watching for possible upside reactions because this is a key pivot that if broken would make the yellow count, which is more bearish, more likely. But actually in the white count, um, there's a good chance for a reversal here. I would like to see, however, a first one, two setup here. Okay. So it is still quite a bullish analysis, but it would require the price to hold 55,480. Um, were a couple of comments yesterday in the in the comment section about you know that this analysis is quite bearish. Uh, I can only encourage you if you don't understand anything um, or something in the analysis, please ask. Okay, while I can't always reply to all comments, the community members might help because the analysis is actually quite bullish. Yeah, so I'm still watching for um, possibly one more high in this bull run. So for example, it could be from here that we start the next move up, or okay if that breaks then the price has another chance from down here in the mid 40K region to form another one, two setup, which obviously would be a great opportunity for a great price, but only if we see a first setup down here. So if we drop, I mean, in any of these structures, it would require a first micro setup to work with like a mini one, two setup. So another five wave move up that would indicate the trend has changed back to the upside followed by a three wave pullback, five up, three down. So that's what I'm watching at the moment. 
Um, then let's take a look at the smaller time frame here. One second, do I need to open that separately? There you go. So this is the one hour chart. And here we can see this is the rally from the 6th of September low. And it could have completed here. Okay, so the top might have formed. To confirm that further, I need a break below this, let's say, support area, this micro support here, which is defined between 63,560 and 61,860. So I highlighted to you yesterday that I see this here as some kind of an ABC structure where, so first of all, we have a three wave move down. So with, with a three wave move down, and it's still only three waves down, and we're holding support, I will not rule out further direct upside. But it's important to understand what are the key signals that the market would give us to highlight that a top has indeed formed. And I'm talking about a larger top, okay? And it would be a first five wave move down. So if we have five waves down, it is more clearly, let's say short term bearish at least. One, two, three. And then I highlighted to you, I wanna see a more healthy fourth wave, A, B, and that C wave actually as we were looking for yesterday has formed now. It might still push a little bit higher, 65,000 is resistance. But the bottom line is, if it now forms one more low, possibly targeting 62,700 or 61,860, it could indicate that a fifth wave to the downside has formed. Even if in that fifth wave, we're not breaking below support, it would be a good indication that we will eventually. Okay, so it would be in the yellow count one more low. That would be a signal we're heading down further because with a five wave move down, I can go with uh, the more short-term bearish scenario, yeah, which is still overall bullish, but it would likely mean that we're gonna break the support area, probably not directly, but after a corrective rally, which would then take us down further eventually, okay? Because five waves down are typically going to be corrected by a yeah, corrective rally before we then go down further. So that's what I'm watching today. The resistance area is still relevant. Um, I cannot rule out that this C wave might push a little higher. And again, at the moment, we can only analyze what we see right now. We haven't got five waves down yet. Five waves down could be the basis even for a short trade setup after a corrective rally, after another corrective rally. But too early to talk about that for now. This is what I call a flat correction in wave four. Um, something more bullish still possible, but would require a break above 65,018 USD. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.